Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video, and today, to celebrate hitting 1,000 subs, we'll be taking a look at a couple different versions of Resident Evil 4. More specifically, the GameCube original and the ports for the PlayStation 2 and Wii. Before we do that, let's go over some brief history. Resident Evil 4 is the fourth main installment in the Resident Evil series, and it was released in January of 2005 as a GameCube exclusive before being ported to a multitude of different consoles. Resident Evil 4 was the first game in the series to use a third-person over-the-shoulder perspective, completely ditching the fixed camera angles and tank controls of the original trilogy, although the aiming in RE4 still uses tank controls. RE4 also ditched the survival horror element of the series and went for a more action-oriented game. This game popularized the third-person over-the-shoulder perspective. Every third-person shooter that has been released after RE4 has used this perspective ever since. I think I rambled on long enough with history. Now let's start with the GameCube original. The GameCube version of Resident Evil 4 was released in January of 2005, and it was released as an exclusive for the GameCube as part of the infamous Capcom 5, which was a collaboration between Capcom and Nintendo to create five exclusives for the GameCube, which not all of the exclusives stayed exclusive to the GameCube. Due to the mini DVD format that Nintendo went with for this generation, the game was split up into two discs due to the limited files size of the mini DVD, but anyway, the GameCube version is definitely the slimmest package content-wise, and there's some minor frame dips here and there, but the GameCube version is still a decent way to experience RE4. The game controls great with a GameCube controller, and they feel great. The only drawback with the GameCube version of RE4 that there is no widescreen mode, and there is a ton of black bars around the screen, making the game look a lot more cinematic. I had to do my best to edit this footage to make it look full screen, but at least there's support for progressive scan. Overall, the GameCube version of Resident Evil 4 is still a decent version. It might not necessarily be the best version of Resident Evil 4, but it still has its charm for being the original, and the game was never ported to any other consoles and- oh god damn it, Capcom. Nine months after the original GameCube version was released, Resident Evil 4 was ported to the PlayStation 2 in October of 2005, and it's widely considered to be the first true version of Resident Evil 4, since there were some new features added to make it stand out from the GameCube version. New costumes for Leon and Ashley were added, the Separate Ways campaign for Ada Wong was added, a movie browser for the cutscenes was added so you can view the cutscenes after you beat the game. A new laser gun has been added to the shop after you beat the game, and there were some minor stat changes to the weapons and items in the shop. And lastly, the game adds proper widescreen support. There are some downgrades, however. The graphics really took a hit on this port. The game looks a lot darker on this port, and the graphics and textures look a lot more blurrier than the GameCube. The sound and cutscenes were compressed in order to fit the game onto one DVD. Some of these changes had to happen due to the limitations of the PS2 hardware. The PS2 was one of the least powerful consoles of the 6th generation. It was more powerful than the Dreamcast, but it was less powerful than the GameCube and Xbox. Despite the downgrades, the PS2 port of RE4 is still decent. Some of these downgrades had to be made due to hardware limitations, but it's still a miracle that they got Resident Evil 4 to run on the PS2. The PS2 port brought the game to a wider audience, and it's still one of the best-selling versions of this game. Now let's move on to the final port that we'll be taking a look at in this video. The Wii version of Resident Evil 4 was released in 2007, two years after the GameCube and PS2 versions, and a month after the original PC port. The Wii port has all the graphics from the GameCube version, plus all the extra content from the PS2 port. Obviously, since it's on the Wii, the game adds motion controls, and to be honest, 
I thought I was gonna hate the motion controls on this game, but I actually really enjoyed the motion controls on this port. The motion controls makes aiming way better than playing with it on a controller. There's also classic controller support if you don't like playing with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. There's also a secret GameCube controller mode. If you're playing on a backwards compatible Wii, all you have to do is disconnect the classic controller and Nunchuck from the Wii Remote and plug the GameCube controller into the first controller port and there you go. Not only you have the Wii version with motion controls, but you also get a definitive GameCube version with all the extra content. Overall, the Wii version of Resident Evil 4 is still the definitive way to play this game on console. This might be an issue to some people, but all of the versions I mentioned in this video still play at 30 FPS. It's not a huge deal for me, but I know there's some elitists that might have an issue with it. Before I end the video, let's briefly mention some of the other ports of Resident Evil 4. The original PC port has no mouse support and compressed cutscenes from the PlayStation 2 port. The game still plays fine with a controller. The HD version on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, nearly identical to the other console versions, but with increased resolution and still plays at 30 FPS. The Ultra HD port on Steam, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. It's in 1080p 60fps, but the game has no anti-aliasing on consoles, and the controls don't feel right on modern platforms. If I had to pick a version to play, I would rather play the GameCube or Wii version if I really want to play classic Resident Evil 4. Well folks, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video on some of the ports of Resident Evil 4, and before you ask, like, where's the mobile versions and where's the VR version, I've personally never played the VR version, and I'll probably never be able to play the mobile version since they've since been delisted for a few years now. And until next time, thank you for watching. Bye. Yeah.